Behind the doors of the most exclusive card club in Europe, these six players will battle for over 800,000 euros and the pride of a nation. This time, there's more than money on the line. Paris and Poker, a match made in heaven, next on the World Poker Tour. is a series of international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. Last week in Mississippi, an Englishman stole into the first place of the game and took home nearly $600,000. Tonight at the exclusive Aviation Club of France, it's the Euro Finals of Poker, and for the lone remaining American, a chance to return the favor and capture the most prestigious title in Europe. 86 of the top poker players from around the world put up 10,000 euros each for a shot at a prize pool worth nearly $900,000. Now, only six players remain in the hunt for the money and the coveted $25,000 entry into the WPT Championship, a one-way ticket to the biggest poker event of the year. Now, down to the Aviation Club for the call of the action with poker expert Mike Sexton and Hollywood home game ace Vince Van Patten. Bonjour. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. We are in Paris at the opulent Aviation Club de France for the Euro Finals of Poker. Vince, I mean, how great is this? Poker in Paris. This place is magnifique. How are you doing? <laughs> I'll tell you something. From the Eiffel Tower to the Champs-Élysées, we are having a great time. Who's better than us, Mike? <laughs> We're playing at the Aviation Club, which is like an old gentleman's club, and I'm very, very impressed with it. This is the kind of club, you know, you'd expect to see James Bond playing at. Chemin de Fer, Baccarat, but they also play high-stakes poker, and they play it well. Well, you're right about that, Vince. And the guy that flings those chips around today is going to take home well over a half a million dollars, plus that coveted $25,000 entry into the World Poker Tours Championship Final at Bellagio, and that can mean another couple million. Points. Absolutely. We're about to begin. You're going to meet some major international poker stars. Six players we're down to. They're going after a half a million euros. Here are the players. Our chip leader is Christer Johansson. He is a professional player from Stockholm, Sweden, and he will be starting out today with 237,000 in chips. That's right. Now, number two in seat number six is Alan Hajiz. Now, he's a businessman. He's not a professional player. He's got $148,000 worth of chips. He's got quite a shot here. Claude Cohen is in third chip position and will be starting out with 143,000 in chips. Claude is a popular professional from Paris, and he nearly won this tournament a couple years ago, actually finished second in this very tournament. Now, why was that? That's because you defeated him. <laughs> the ugly American invader took him down. You're very lucky here. It's seat number two, our fourth position chip leader is Alan Cunningham from America, only 25 years old. This guy was studying at UCLA and he decided the heck with it. I'm playing poker on the side. I'm giving up UCLA. He's playing poker now for a living. He's fantastic. He's got 133,000 worth of chips. Tony G from Australia is starting out in fifth position with 111,000 in chips. Tony is also a professional poker player, and he's quite a colorful character, Vince. That's right. Now, this guy, they're all complaining about him because he's one of these trash-talking poker players that everyone hates. You know, you want to beat him. But the seat number one, Jacques Dorman, says, you know what? That is not poker. You should not talk like that. So he's very <laughs> upset. Let's see if he's going to get to Jacques Dorman today. Hey, Vince, we're about to get underway. Good luck to everyone. Good chance to all the participants. Let's dance. Well, let's dance, they say. We're getting ready for our first hand. All quiet in the room right now. And it's going to be on Alan Cunningham, who's going to take a look. And the great thing about the World Poker Tour, what we're doing is you get the opportunity to look at their whole cards. Before, it was just a guessing game. What do they have? Now you know whether they were bluffing, what they play with. It's an amazing experience. The American player, he's got ace four. He's going to throw his hand away. Tony G's gone. Chris Folds. Claude folds, and now on the button, in late position, that means it's the best position you can be in. And Alan raises it on the button. Alan Hagehi with queen five of hearts, he's going to raise it up, Mike. He is raising it, he's made it 18,000 to go. 18,000. Oh, but lo and behold, look at this. First hand, Jacques Durand has pulled a, a monster hand. He has the pair of aces. This is fantastic, as they would say in Paris. This is like a dream come true. Pick up two aces in the big blind on the first hand of the final table. On the first hand, he's getting these aces. Now, I'll tell you something. It's like 221 to one shot that you get aces in your hand, and he found it on the first hand of the tournament. And, of course, he is raising it up. you got to do that. 
221 to 1, Vince. Is that it? <laughs> I'm amazed. You got your math down. I know these things. I happen to get them every 1 in 800 times. $20,000 raise. Okay, he's made it 38,000 to go. He's raised his pot 20,000. Back to Elan, the other Frenchman. And don't forget, he's got queen five of hearts. What's he going to do? Well, it's 20,000 more to him. He is in position, which means he gets to act last after the flop, but I'm not sure you want to be in there with the queen five, but he is calling. The French have gambled to him. There's no doubt about it. You're seeing it right here on the first hand. At least one of them has gamble. Here we go with the flop. It's a king five, king eight, eight, Mike. Five with two diamonds. 80,000 in the pot already. King eight, five. Now don't forget, Alain has a pair of fives now. But of course, Jacques has a monster pair of aces. How is he going to play it? It's up to Jacques first. Well, he's certainly going to play him with that flop. Jacques says and here he goes. He's going all tapis. in. He's tapis in the first tapis. pot. He's not going to monkey around. No subtlety here. He's going all in. He has done it. He has pushed all his chips in the pot. Lots of action on the first hand here in Paris. Alan has and Alain is going to okay. fold his hand. Yeah, the bottom oh. pair, he folded. Jacques Duran picks up the dream hand. Wins the first pot at the final table. Here he goes. He's going to rake it in. And he Crowd. does not show the aces. Notice he no. does not show the aces. What a big hand for Jacques. What a way to start a tournament. But before we get too far, let's give a quick tutorial on just how to play Texas Hold'em. That's a good idea, man. The game is No Limit Hold'em, the Cadillac of poker. It's a game that takes a minute to learn and a lifetime to master. To start, each player is dealt two cards face down. Then, five community cards, cards everyone can play, are placed face up on the table. Each player combines their two hidden down cards with the community cards to make their best five card poker hand. And betting is really what this game is all about. Let me explain. You get your first two cards, you make a bet. Then, the dealer puts the first three community cards on the table. In poker, we call this the flop. They bet again. Then the dealer puts the fourth community card on the table. This is called the turn card. Once again, big round of betting. Then the last card. We call this the river. It's turned up on the table. They make a big last round of betting. Turn your cards over. You see who wins. They call it no limit hold'em because there's no limit on how much a player can bet. At any moment, he can declare that he is all in and push all of his chips into the pot. Right, and that makes chip position, or how many chips you have, very, very important in this game. His action is on Alan Hagegi. Well, he's picked up an interesting hand. Seven five of diamonds. They can all win, that's what I know. But he's going to throw it away. Sometimes players like to play those interesting... And Jacques folds his hand. Low connectors. Cunningham, Alan Cunningham, the American folds. Look at this. Speaking of which, yes. Tony G raises on the button with a 3-5 of clubs. I sort of like that raise, Vince. Now the button is that best place you can be. Chris, the chip leader, folds. Get a king and a deuce. Now Claude Cohen has got a queen-10, two different suits. But he's thinking about this. He knows Tony G has a reputation of pushing players around. These guys want to win it. They don't want to be taken out of the game by some chatty Cathy. And he's going to call it, Mike. Well, he's making sort of a statement here, Vince, that you just can't raise my blind and take every pot. So he's making a stand the first time he's in the big blind against Tony G right here with a queen-10 offsuit. Let's see what flops. Flop is ace-queen-6. Well, he's caught his queens. Yes, he has. But notice that Tony G has flopped a flush check. draw. And here we go for the fourth street. Fourth street is the five of hearts. Claude checks. Tony bets. Tony's got a pair of fives and a flush draw. That's pretty strong. He's come out and bet twenty thousand. Claude called the twelve thousand. Okay. Claude calls the twelve thousand. We're going to the river. Last card. Last card. Club's got there. He's got the flush. He's betting. Tony's betting quick. He quickly bet twenty thousand instantly. Claude and Claude called him instantly. You called? Just like that? Claude calls. Come on, And we have the... It's a flash! Oh, and look at the expression on Claude's face. Beautiful. He just knows like he got beat at the flash. river there. $20, Tony you just toying with him. Look at it. It's a flush! My God! Just like that. One second. No thinking. 
Twenty thousand. No thinking. I bet twenty thousand. You gotta be careful with your money. He made the flush. He got lucky that hand. This guy never stops talking. He silenced this group. They don't talk much at the tables over here in France and in Europe in general, Vince. And I don't think the Frenchmen are gonna take kindly to all his chit chat. They want to kill him right now. Look at this. Where's the guillotine? I'm known as Tony G. I'm glad to be in the position and and just want to give my, myself the best possible opportunity to come through and win it for Australia. Believe me, these Frenchmen are going to be glad when this guy goes back down under. Don't attack the Aussie. Okay, Chris is first to speak. He's got a King 5 offsuit and folds. Claude Cohen going out with 510. Fold. Now, now Alain, he's yeah. picked up the King Jack of Diamonds, a nice hand here. Absolutely, that's a nice strong hand. Look at this, he's going to raise it. He is, he comes in for 12,000. Well, that makes it 12,000. Shock's going out with a jack Don't eight. A Alan's yeah. out. Blind, semi-blind. I love this. He says Nobody blind, semi-blind. Unbelievable. Cold, cold. Let's see if you can outplay See if you can outplay me, me says. Now, all he's got, Mike, oh, is eight jack God off suit. Yeah. And here comes the flop. Good for the flop you. is ace, queen, queen nine. nine. No, that man. helps neither check. player, really, and they both check. And it goes check, check. Now I gotta have a little. Makes little four diamonds for Alain. Now look at this. He's at a stone cold bluff here. Look at He's bet twelve, 12 thousand. Now look at Alain's hand. He's got the nut flush draw and an ace high straight draw. Now this is the perfect time to re raise on what we call a semi bluff in the poker world, Vince. It means you've got a big hand and a big draw. You might not have the best hand now, but if you make a nice raise here, you can take the pot away from your yeah, opponent. Yeah, but you don't know what your opponent has. Alain opts to call. We're just okay, gonna, see, just gonna if, call. see if he catches something. Last seven hearts, seven. no help to either player. Seven from heaven. It's a seven from heaven. <clears throat> Says Tony. Look at this, he's betting 40,000 into it. Well, we know it's not a seven from heaven, but he's acting like it helps him, and he fires 40,000 at the pot with absolutely nothing. Now, unfortunately for Alan, I don't see how he can call this. He only has king That's high. A good no pass. Call. That's a very good and pass. And he passed. If you want, passes. you can see one card. Oh, no, no. Tell look me at this. Which one? Yep. <laughs> which one? Here it comes. Oh, he's doing one that. Card. One card thing, one card, the ultimate Alan showboat Alan. move. Anyone at all? Anyone look at this. Room? Alan wouldn't Which take card? the bait. First He's inviting second. anybody to look at it. First one. He, he turns it over himself. Straight. Believe me, it's a straight. He's made a great pass. That's the best pass. He's made, made a great made. pass. That we know it was a horrible pass. He's given it to them all. But I'll tell you, you got to be impressed with the way he's played so far. You know, you got to take your hat off to him in one way, Vince, and that he's earning his pots. You got to say that for him. Well, we're going to take a break. We're on the World Poker Tour. We are in Paris, France. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's been all Australia, as Melbourne's own Tony G has run his mouth and run over his opponents in pot after pot. For the young American Alan Cunningham and Swedish pro Christer Johansson, the goal is simply to win. For the three French players, though, the priority has become the honor of their club. Welcome back to Paris. I'm Vince Van Patten along with Mike Sexton. We're six players here. We're going after over half a million euros. Mike, what do you think so far? That's I'll tell you, we, they don't need us to commentate this tournament. Tony G's doing a job of it on himself there. He's talking plenty of smack. Well, we've never seen such a talker on the World Poker Tour yet. This guy's taking the cake for talk. Okay. He folds a jack five. Now here comes Chris Johansson. He's got the queen jack of diamonds, and he comes in with the raise. Now he gets a lot of respect here. Absolutely, that's a good hand, good starting 12, hand, a jack, queen of diamonds. Now look at Claude Cohen. Now Claude has one of those unique hands, a three, five of spade. It's the kind of hand he's looking to catch a flop to bust somebody with. Now you've seen them play before in these other hands. They play five, seven, suited, three, five, suited, and it's paid off a lot. So, but he's going to throw this one away. Alan has a ten deuce off suit and folds. Now look at this. Jacques has two sixes, Vince. Wow. Jack folds. Very conservative move by Jacques. Very interesting. Now, Alan, our American's coming in Swedish with a king-queen offsuit. Alan, Alan Collins, Cunningham, sensational 25-year-old American Swedish player, is a king-queen. Here we go. Let's see what the flop brings. The flop, 